Hi, my name is Mylon Lefevre, and music is in my blood. I got my first big break when Elvis Presley recorded a song I'd written at 17 years old. I toured the world and played with some of the biggest names in music and almost died from a drug overdose. Something had to change. Everything did change when I gave my life to Jesus at a second chapter of Acts concert in 1980. Now, years later, my wife, Christy, and I travel the globe proclaiming God's goodness. So come on and join me on the road to freedom. Welcome to Own the Road to Freedom. We are in Evergreen, Colorado. And if I've ever seen a house built on the rock, this house <laughs> that we rented is. is called Above the Clouds. Yeah. And it is amazing. God gave somebody an idea. And by the way, we found out they're Christians. Yes. When we started to rent this place, they started telling us that they watch our TV show and they have even given us they gave us things for free. They didn't have to. They've been so good to it. They prayed over the whole house. Man, it is precious, man. The presence of God is yes. in this place. Yes, it is. They built it. They bought the side of this cliff, the side of this mountain, and up at the top of it, they built it in between the boulders and the rocks that are sticking up all around us. Mm -hmm. And they built it so that it's built into the side of the cliff. Yeah. One part of the house is actually the cliff. Yeah. That's so amazing. And there's a creek. And there's a, yeah. There's a creek that <laughs> a creek runs from the top it. of the mountain, runs right through the house, goes <laughs> out the other side. Yeah. Give me, so come cool. on, people. Yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> anyway, you. we're up here yeah. on a beautiful sunny day. The wind is real still right now. Yeah. A while ago, it felt like Katrina was going on. You know, our, <laughs> our hats went flying, you know, but God is good. God we're having good. a good time serving Him. Seeking Him, that's Amen. what we're here for. Amen. This show is not for us. This is some stuff that God showed us that yeah. changed our life, helped us, and we're sharing that with you. Yes. This show is for you. for you. The reason we do this is to help you. Jesus said it this way. He said in John 8, and verse 31 and 2, If you continue in my word, you will be my disciples, and you will know the truth. Because you know the truth, you'll be free. He'll set mm -hmm. you free. The truth will make you free. Yeah. Not a truth, the truth. The truth. Praise yeah. God. Mm -hmm. So, man, if you know somebody that needs to know the truth, check them out. Send them a text, man. Yeah. Put this on pause if you're recording it or let it record and let them know that we're on or they can go to mom.org on demand and watch the show anytime they want Amen. to. Amen. That's good. Over and over and over if they need to or want to. Yeah. It's free and it always will be. Uh, we would love to have to to be able to minister to your friends, your family, your loved ones, and uh, and help them to get free too. Team Milan, I want to say to you, thank you for paying for the rent on this house and these cameras you're seeing from, and I'm so thankful yeah, for you doing your part. God bless you, man. We love you. We pray for you every day. What a difference your generous giving and faith has made in our lives. Amen. We're thankful for you. We're going to talk to you today about how to get the hundredfold. Come on. And there's been a lot of um, going back and forth about this promise through the years, but we want you to see that it's in the Word. The we hundredfold was God's, God's idea. Exactly. That's what you need to know. It was God's idea. <laughs> Not some preacher trying yeah. to get money out of somebody or Amen. something. Amen. We don't do that to you. We That's will right. never beg you for money. You'll yeah. never get a letter from me trying to show you starving kids or something that's going to make you feel bad right. or guilty. That yeah. We don't do that. The, mm -hmm. We want you to give wherever God tells you to give. That's right. You do it cheerfully, and we're for that. We Amen. believe He'll supply our needs Amen. according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Because we give. Amen. And we believe for the hundred That's right. Amen. We give Him something to work with. Amen. Mark, the 10th chapter, verse 29 and 30, it says this. So Jesus answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, this is God talking to you, there is no one who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and for the gospel's sake, who shall not receive a hundredfold now in this mm -hmm. time, not in heaven, 
mm-hmm. in this life. Right. Houses, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and lands with persecution. Notice it comes with persecution. Mm-hmm. So if you can't take the heat, you're not getting this. If you're going to feel like, if you're going to feel sorry for yourself, like it's something that, oh, the devil's just picking on you. No, it's gonna, he's going to pick on everybody that goes after the hundredfold. Mm-hmm. Persecution is guaranteed. If you follow Jesus Christ, they hated him. He didn't do anything wrong. They're going to they're gonna find something wrong with you. And they're going to talk about it. Mm-hmm. But in this age to come, he said, with persecutions and in the age to come, eternal, eternal life. life. Amen. He's going to give you the hundredfold plus eternal life. What could be greater? Yeah. There is no, that is awesome, people. God is offering you ultimate blessings, ultimate cascading blessings, just, just that you can give away. You, you'll have your barn so full, you won't need it all. You'll have to give some of it away. Abundance, abundant life in Christ. We got to have a right attitude. That means we stay in faith, we stay in love. That's we right. Defeat the devil, the thief. Romans 12, verse 3 says it this way, as God has dealt to each one of us a measure of faith. And we have that faith. Yes, we, we do. We just have to exercise. It's like muscles. The more you exercise your faith, the stronger your faith will be. Amen. And Amen. you know, uh, Jesus also talked about the hundredfold in Mark 4. That's right. And he was discussing the four types of soil that the Word of God is sown on. Mm. And the soil represents your heart, our heart. And it says in there, in verse 9, he said to them, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. That's Mark 4, verse 9. We won't receive anything from the Lord without ears to hear. So I encourage you right now to to have a receptive heart to the Word of God, what we're teaching you today about the hundredfold. No matter what you've heard from others, Hear what Jesus is saying to you today about 30, 60, and 100-fold return on the Word of God that's sown in our heart. Mark 4, 14, Jesus said to them, Do not understand this parable. How then will you understand all the parables? So understanding this today is essential for you understanding every parable that Jesus gave in His Word. And He began it with these words. I call this a foundational truth. In other words, other truths will become obvious to you, but you've got to understand this is the foundation on which a lot of other scripture is built. That's what Jesus was trying to teach us. Amen. And so he began with the sower sows the word. Mm -hmm. Now today we're the sower sowing the word in your heart. Yes. You have a choice. You determine which soil you are by how you hear the Word. That's right. And Jesus said there's only four groups of soil. This is very simple, but we also need you to understand there's only five things. We learned this from Brother Copeland, our father in the faith. That's right. There's only five things the devil uses to stop you from getting God's best. There's only five. Now, if you have your notepad and notes or your iPad, please Ooh, take some notes down. right now. Come on. He does. The enemy does two things, affliction and persecution, and he tempts you to do three things, the cares of life, deceitfulness of riches. Now that just means you believe that money will solve your problems. And then the third thing is lust of other things. Now you overcome those hurdles and those challenges. That's all he's got. That's it. You overcome those, you're getting the hundredfold. Come on. Amen. That's so good word, what's baby. that first group of soul? Well, let me read you Mark 4 and verse 15. And these are the ones by the wayside where the word is sown. Mm -hmm. When they hear, Satan comes immediately and takes away the word that was sown into their hearts. The fight is over the word, of course, always. Every time we preach the word, we're tested on it. Every time we hear it preached, we're tested. Every time you get a new revelation, you're going to be tested. Either the devil will steal it out of your life right. or you won't let him do that. And you'll stand on the Word of God because you believe it. And you'll say it. Right. If you really believe it, you'll speak it out. And that will cause it to be established in the, in the heavenlies. Mm-hmm. That'll cause God to get involved. Yeah. And the reason he wants to steal it is because it will come, it will produce the kingdom of God in your life right. if it continues to grow. 
and, and you believe it. And you know, it's amazing, but when we teach you these things, you know, we get tested on it. Yeah, yeah we, <laughs> we do. Also, yeah. I mean, but we believe it. We believe God. it, and we pass the test by yes, faith. Yes, we do, Amen. praise God. Amen. Mark, the fourth chapter, verse 16 and 17, Jesus said, These likewise are the ones sown on stony ground, who, when they heard the word, immediately received it with gladness. They knew it was God. Yeah. And they have no root in themselves. They're not grounded in the Word of God. They're too flighty. They're too much like the world. They won't, you know, the Word says don't be like the world. Be conformed, not conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. They won't take the time to get their minds renewed to the Word of God. So they have no root in themselves, and so they only endure for a time. Mm. Afterward, when tribulation or persecution arises, for the word's sake, notice it's on account of the word, immediately they stumble and they fall away. And the Amplified it says they immediately are offended, they become displeased, indignant, resentful, instead of forgiven, for instance. Mm -hmm. Instead of uh, making yeah. changes that God corrected them on, yeah. they don't like those changes. They get offended at the word. They yes. get offended at God mm -hmm. or whoever God used to, to explain that word to them. And they stumble and fall away. And they become hearers of the word, but not doers. Yes. Let's go to Psalm 119, verse 165, oh, so, so that good. God can comment to us about this. Great peace have they who love your law, God's law, the word of God. Nothing shall offend them or make them stumble. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> they will never be offended. They'll make up their mind before it happens. I know this person... Maybe it's somebody you're kin to, and they've been doing it your whole life. Mm -hmm. And their, their attitude is really offensive to you. Mm -hmm. And it's something you have to make every mind before they do it again, because they're going to. Mm -hmm. The devil's going to make sure that they offend you again. And you have to make up your mind, I'm going to forgive them, yeah. and I'm going to pray for them. And it doesn't mean you have to hang out with them. It doesn't mean you have to trust them or honor them. Mm -hmm. If they're lying, you couldn't believe them. If they don't tell the truth, yeah. and if they've got a mess in their life, you don't want that chaos in your life. You're not going to start thinking that way or talking that way or raising your kids that way. Mm -hmm. But you can still love them, yes. and you can still pray for them that God will have mercy on them and send laborers across their path, and, and that He'll help them. Amen. But you don't get offended. That's the most important. You don't stumble. You don't fall away, and you don't get uh, in the snare of the enemy, right. in other words. And now let's look at the third group of soul. In Mark 4, 18 through 19, it says, Now these are the ones sown among thorns. They are the ones who hear the word, and then the cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches, yes. and the desire for other things entering in choke the word, and it becomes unfruitful. It mm. bears no fruit. That means mm. your prayers, our prayers don't get answered Amen. in this situation. In the Amplified, it says these things creep in. So this is subtle. This That's is not something lady. that happens suddenly. That's good. It creeps in. What creeps in? The cares of this life, yep. the deceitfulness of riches and the lust for other things creep in and choke and suffocate the word and it becomes fruitless. So we have mm. to make a choice to resist these temptations so that the word will produce in our lives. We want the word yes, to be baby. effective. Yes. How do we handle the cares of life? Because we all encounter them, yes, especially do. in the days that we're living. We need to know how to handle the cares. In 1 Peter 5, 6 through 7 gives us the answer. It says, therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, mm. that He may exalt you yes. in due time. Amen. Now, how do you do that? How do you humble yourself? Casting all your care upon Him. That's a secret. That's it. Come on, that is huge. Why, why do we cast our care? Because He cares, he cares for, you. for us. Yes. He'll take care of us. He'll take care of it. Yeah. Right? But Amen. if we hold on to it and we try to Amen. fix it, then He can't handle it, right? Nope. But if we'll cast our care into His hands, God will take care of it for you. And He called that humbling ourselves. Right. Letting Him take care Letting of it. Letting Him Not take care of it. Not being proud and trying to do it ourselves. That's it. And Mom. show them and fix their red bag. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And and then also the deceitfulness of riches. How do we handle that? Luke 16, 13 says, No servant 
can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. That's right. You cannot serve God and mammon. See, mammon is money, yeah. riches, wealth. You can't put your faith in God and have your faith in money. Right. Now, a lot of people really believe that money will fix all their problems. Right. If they had they enough do. money, mm -hmm. we could buy a nice house, we could do this, we'd be so happy, we'd right. be so blessed, we'd have better health, our family would love us more, blah, blah, blah. That's not the truth. That mm -hmm. is the deceitfulness Deceitful. of riches. Yeah. You can't serve two masters. He didn't mention the devil. Mm -hmm. He said, it's me or money will master your life. That's good. So make sure that you are mastered by Jesus. You spend more time trying to get more Jesus, not more money. The solution to that is Matthew 6, seeking first the kingdom of God yes. and his righteousness. Now here's the reward. Then all these things, he'll add them unto you. Yes, You're not going to miss out on all the things. Nope. You won't miss out on all the things the world is they're chasing after, they're hustling and hyping to get. You won't miss out on all those things. God said, if you'll seek me first in my kingdom, I will add all those things unto you. Recently, we were in Sedona, Arizona filming and we got stranded. By the time we got to the airport, they'd canceled the flight, but we had no cell coverage driving the 100 miles up to the airport and flagged out. And so by the time we got there, all the people who had already knew about it, the flights had been canceled, started rebooking. There was a bad storm in Texas and the airport was closed. Yeah. And I didn't know what to do. Man, the guys had to be back to minister in church the next day. They were gonna rent a car and drive. I think it was 17 hours to drive back to Dallas all day and all night to get there in time for church Sunday morning so they could do their ministry. And so I didn't know what to do, but I started praying about it and the Lord said, Brother Copeland would want to know this. Call him and tell him. And I don't ever call and ask for things because he's a big giver. Yes. So I don't try to put pressure on people and take advantage of their generosity. But when I prayed about it again, the Lord said, call him, he would want to know. Yeah. And I called him and immediately, within 20 minutes, he had his jet on the way to Flagstaff and we were home for dinner. Yeah, I mean, God. it was amazing. Praise God. And what he told me, he said, man, don't worry about it, son. He said, that's what planes are for. They're just tools. Yeah. And that's why God has entrusted me with one. Yeah. He said, you have not because you ask not. Mm -hmm. And I got to thinking about that and I realized it has been a problem. It's not everybody else's problem, it's been mine. Yeah. I need some partners. Yeah. I need some people who care mm -hmm. and who really truly believe that what we're doing yeah. is reaching the nations Amen. and that we're doing it in a way that they can relate to. People that Amen. believe this is important. Yes. People who understand yeah. that the way we're going about it is gonna affect a certain part of the culture. Yeah. And yeah. so if that's you, I'm asking you to join Team Mile. I'm yeah. asking you to pray about it. I'm not trying to influence your giving. That's between you and God. Yes. And if he tells you to give to another ministry, that's wonderful with us. Yes. But I am asking you to pray about it and see if you're supposed to be a part of this ministry. And if so, come on, man. Yeah. Me and you <laughs> and God and Christy, that's we right. will change the world right. one person at a time, right. just like he changed me and you. Yes. God bless you, man. Thanks for praying about it. And if you want to be a part of Team Milan, you just go to milan.org and click on Team Milan today. And then now let's go to the fourth group, Mark 420. But these are the ones sown on good ground. Come on. Those who hear, boy, this is who I want to be. How about you? That's me. Amen. That's me. Just say that out loud. That's me. That's these me. are the ones sown on good ground. Those who, who hear, hear the, the word, word, they accept it, it and they bear fruit. fruit. Yeah. Some 30, 
some 60 and some a hundredfold. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Praise the Lord. Now you get a hundredfold, you're going to be blessed to be a blessing. Amen. You're going to be a help a lot of people. Listen, some ministers, they, they call themselves ministers. There are people on the internet and their whole quote unquote ministry is about attacking other Christians who have a plane or who have, uh, who have been blessed and how uh, they do what they call the prosperity message. That message is in the Bible. Yes, it is. We didn't yeah. make that up. Mm -hmm. God wants you to prosper. Mm -hmm. But these people will attack everybody else. That is not a ministry. God does not anoint people to attack other people in the church. Mm -hmm. That is Satan. Yeah. Now, I want to remind you that Satan is the accuser of the brethren. Mm -hmm. When we accuse each other and find fault with each other yes. and tear down each other, and we call that Christianity, that's not. There is no anointing from God to hurt other no, people. No, there's not. There's only an anointing from God to build up the body of yes, Christ. Yes, To not good. find fault with, but to encourage and pray for. And the Bible says if somebody is wrong, go to them in private. Mm -hmm. Go to them humbly. Yeah. and show them the error of their ways. And if they do that, that's different than getting on the internet or on TV and telling everybody publicly. That's mm -hmm. not the way God does it. So in order to be that good ground, we have to be adaptable. Yeah, we I do. hear the word of God, it doesn't matter what he says. He's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. I'm always wrong, <laughs> yeah. God is always right. Yeah, that's Does it. he need to change? No, that's good. he's holy. Mm -hmm. Do I need to change? Yes, I'm Milan. Mm -hmm. I have made so many, I have so many problems in my life that only he can solve. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them I made. I not only had to be saved from the devil, I had to be saved from me. <laughs> and if you're good. willing to grow and, and learn in that, God's going to give you the hundredfold. Please That's notice it. the first three categories got no, no fold. fold. The first Ouch. group of soul. Ouch. That's 75 percent. 75. But these yeah. people went to Bible study. Yeah. They go to church all the time. But when but when persecution came and the deceitfulness of riches tricked them mm -hmm. and the cares of life, the yeah. anxieties of mm -hmm. the age, they creep in and they smothered out and they choked the word of God and it never produced one fold in their lives. It had healing in it, but they didn't get healed. It had holy matrimony in it, but they got divorced. And these people go to church all the time but they never got what God wanted to give them because they wouldn't do what he offered them. They were not doers of the word. And you know, right. I think it's important for you to understand too, that right now, no matter what it looks like in the world, you Amen. can get the hundredfold even in a time of famine. That's right, baby. Amen. Come on, bring that. You know, in Genesis 26, 1 and 12, it says there was a famine in the land. Mm -hmm. Besides the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. That's right. Then Isaac sowed in that land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold. <laughs> and the Lord blessed him. Come on, now this come is on. proving right now that Isaac reaped a hundredfold on his seed sown in a time of famine. So this is And in, we've done that too. Yes, we have. That's not some nice little Bible no, story. No, that's the truth. When, when COVID hit, mm -hmm. every church except right. our home church canceled us that year mm -hmm. in 2020. And we had supposedly it looked like we'd had no income. We looked at each other and said, boy, we better sow us a time of yep. famine. And we sowed, we sowed a big seed that year. Mm -hmm. It was scary, in fact. Mm -hmm. It was a lot. But God told us why, how much to sow and where to put it. Yeah. And so we did, and that was the biggest year financially. This is this makes no, no sense. No sense in the natural. That yeah. was the biggest year yeah. financially our ministry has ever had until the next year, praise God. And now this year, God is faithful to do just what he said he would do. Go ahead, baby. You know, it takes more faith to sow in a time of famine. Yeah, it does. And, you know, I know we're experiencing that right now with inflation on the rise and wars and rumors of wars in the, in the world today. But be encouraged that as you sow, you qualify for the hundredfold. That's right. And God is no respecter of persons. What he did for Amen. us, what he did for Isaac, yep. he's ready to do for you when you believe. Let me give you a testimony, a hundredfold testimony from a partner who called in and said, Mylon, when you prayed for us for a 30, 60, and 100 fold return on our business, they had sowed seed into our ministry and they shared with us that they named it and expected a return of increase in their business. Yes. 
And then they wrote us and said, praise God, the very next day, we were blessed with another new account. And then, and then the day yeah. after that, we were blessed with the expansion of an existing account that we expect will double one branch of our business. So immediately they received that 30, 60, and 100 fold on their seed sown. So we want to encourage amazing. you that this is the truth and, we're sharing with you. It's yeah, the, and, and this is only one testimony. We've right. got thousands. Yeah, we can't read them I all. I mean, <laughs> God's take, people right. keep putting this to work for them. Mm -hmm. uh, God's word works if you work it. That's right. You know? but we don't play out our salvation. We work out our salvation. Amen. Go ahead, Mom. So let's declare together. Jesus offered me the hundredfold in this life. Jesus offered me the hundredfold in this life. And I believe that I receive and it. And I believe that I receive it. I refuse to allow the enemy. I refuse to allow the enemy. To steal God's word from my God's heart. To steal God's word from my heart. Through affliction. Through affliction. Persecution. Persecution. The cares of life. The cares of life. Deceitfulness of riches. The deceitfulness of riches. And lust of other and things. And the lust of other things. By the grace of God. By the grace of God. I'm getting a hundredfold. I'm getting a hundredfold. hundredfold. Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah, Praise Jesus. God. Praise God. I'm, I'm, I we're believe getting we're getting it fold. again today. That's right. And I if, believe he's going up. I believe we're going up. Hallelujah, man. That excites me. Amen. That's good, baby. Thanks. And if you'd like more teaching on faith for supernatural increase, Thank you, that's Lord. what we've been talking about with you today. It's supernatural what God mm. does in your finances when you sow seed by faith. You can get that CD or MP3 mm. version available mm. at mylan.org. You can also check out our new podcast, Take On the road to freedom with you on the go Come everywhere on. you go available on every platform hallelujah and also our church on the run daily digital devotionals those are available to you for free on our Harley rides that we took all over the country. It took us five years to film those devotions. You know what? A part of our ministry and the anointing that is upon us is to help you have fun while you're serving That's God. That's right. Not just to learn the Word of God, yeah, but to have, have fun, fun, to enjoy it. Yes. That, that anointing of joy is upon us. If you'll watch those daily devotionals, if you'll listen to that podcast, it'll help make your day better. Yeah, it will. Amen. So those are all ways for you to stay in the Word because we know that will keep you on, on the, the road, road to, to freedom. freedom.